Hey there, curious minds and stargazers. Get ready to have your cosmic imagination ignited, because we've got news that's out of this world. Buckle up as we dive into a celestial mystery that has left astronomers scratching their heads. Ever since the daring Chinese rover, Chang'e 5, touched down on the lunar surface, it's been unearthing secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew about our beloved moon. From hidden treasures to enigmatic interiors, the moon is proving to be quite the enigma. But that's not all. These jaw-dropping revelations might just hold the key to reshaping our world as we know it. Are you ready to embark on a journey through lunar marvels and uncover how this could spell a new chapter for our planet's future? If you're as intrigued as we are about this lunar escapade, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay in the loop with all things space as we unravel the moon's mysteries and explore the universe like never before. On December 1st, 2020, after a mesmerizing 23-day journey through the cosmos, the Chang'e 5 mission made history by touching down on our very own moon. Talk about a stellar achievement. And guess what? This remarkable feat took place right after being launched from China's Wenchang spacecraft launch site in Hainan province. This isn't the first rodeo for this launch site. It's the same platform that has seen the launch of predecessor probes like Chang'e 3 numerous satellites, and even crucial components for the Chinese space station. The Chang'e 5 lander gently set down in an area known as Oceanus Procolarum, a lunar region near the equator, celebrated for its vast, flat terrain and the towering Mansurov mountain. Impressive, right? Now let's dive into the heart of this mission. Chang'e 5's objective, to snag samples from the lunar surface and bring back precious lunar rock to Earth. And mind you, this was the first time in 40 years that we were about to lay our hands on these lunar treasures. Why was this so important? Well, in recent years, scientists have been rethinking what they knew about the moon. Could it be that our lunar neighbor is hiding some fascinating secrets? Some even speculate that the moon might hold the key to solving our energy crisis. The procedure? Intriguing. Changi 5's lander skillfully extracted samples from the lunar depths. Then these samples were sent back to the orbiter and embarked on their journey back to Earth. It's like a cosmic relay race. Fast forward a mere 14 Earth days and voila, mission accomplished. The samples returned safely to Earth, celebrating China's significant leap into the realm of space exploration. And what happened next was an absolute scientific bonanza. Researchers worldwide eagerly analyzed these lunar souvenirs. Brace yourself because the discoveries were nothing short of mind-blowing. In a plot twist that could rival any space saga, Chang 5 brought back some truly astonishing findings. Not only did it confirm the presence of water ice near the poles, but it also unveiled something extraordinary, tiny glass particles filled with water. Yes, you heard that right, water hiding within these microscopic beads. Can you believe it? These precious glass beads, likely formed during meteorite impacts or perhaps even hitching a ride on comets, are harboring the most unexpected guest water, Though each bead contains just a small fraction of this liquid treasure, when taken as a whole, it's an absolute game changer. So what does this mean for the future? Well, NASA's Artemis mission aimed at lunar exploration might be in for a twist. Our moon, once thought to be parched, could potentially fuel humanity's dreams of a permanent lunar presence. Picture this. On the surface of our dear lunar neighbor, there's an unexpected secret, water. Now, I know what you're thinking. Water on the moon sounds almost as unusual as aliens asking for Earth travel tips. But hold on to your astronaut helmets, because a recent Chinese study has swept away any doubts. Within the seemingly ordinary moon rocks lies a remarkable revelation. Tiny crystal beads holding a whopping 2,000 parts water per 1 million parts. Yes, you heard that right. These beads are like microscopic aqua treasures, barely a millimeter in size, but they pack a watery punch. Now let's crunch some numbers together. When you spread this cosmic cocktail across the entire moon, there are about 2,000 kilograms of water in every metric ton of lunar soil under Earth conditions. To put it into perspective, that's roughly 2,000 liters, a cosmic water stash you wouldn't want to spill. And here's the kicker. These beads are scattered all over the moon, thanks to billions of years of cosmic bombardment by comets, asteroids, and meteorites. So whether you're at the equator or the poles, 
the moon might just quench your thirst for discovery. And guess what? The good old Coinbase app isn't the only thing you can access with a touch. Moon settlers can heat these beads to isolate the water, providing them with a refreshing source right there on the lunar surface. But wait, there's more. These lunar gems aren't just any water, they're solar water. Yep, positively charged hydrogen atoms from the sun's wind got cosy with oxygen within these beads, creating a unique watery blend. And guess what? These beads can even release some of their hydrogen charge when they feel the heat from solar radiation. Now for the grand finale, the estimated total water wealth within these lunar gems is mind-blowing. Around 298.7 billion short tons. That's like a cosmic water park hidden right under our noses. And here's a kicker, the moon, often seen as a barren desert, houses more water than we initially thought. In fact, its North Pole alone is estimated to contain a whopping 661.4 million short tons of water. Talk about a watery surprise. Now, before we start dreaming of lunar beaches, let's address the elephant, or rather, the lack of one in the room. The moon's not exactly a water park waiting to happen, with its minimal atmosphere, extreme temperatures and low pressure. Turning it into a lunar paradise is as tricky as a zero-gravity dance party. But let's rewind a bit. Back on the moon, those intrepid Chinese astronauts made an astonishing find. Glass beads that held secrets beyond just water. Now, I don't know about you, but if I found mysterious glass beads on the moon, I'd probably turn them into a cool necklace. But hey, these beads are way more exciting than a fashion accessory. They're about a billion years older than any surface samples collected by our American astronaut pals during the Apollo days. You see, the moon's been through quite the cosmic roller coaster ride. Imagine asteroid parties and comet meetups. These glass beads are like time capsules holding the stories of epic cosmic collisions. To create these beauties, you'd need impacts with dimensions close to the dino killing asteroid. Talk about a party crasher. Now, here's where things get really juicy. Remember the moon crystal? No, it's not the name of a new superhero. It's a crystal found in lunar rock that's made of something we've never seen before. Researchers were scratching their heads and doing the happy dance simultaneously. Why? Because this crystal holds a critical component for nuclear fusion, the holy grail of clean and limitless energy. All right, let's break down the nuclear fusion talk for those who don't spend their days with atoms. Fusion is like the cosmic version of a mic drop, where tiny atomic nuclei come together, releasing an incredible amount of energy. It's like the universe's way of saying, let's have a party. But so far, it's been a tough nut to crack, with the energy needed to make it happen exceeding the energy gained. And then BAM! Enter the superstar mineral Chang'e Wai, named after the Chinese moon goddess herself. This little wonder might just hold the key to making fusion a reality. If this mineral has a knack for fusion, we might have just hit the cosmic jackpot. Now picture this, astronauts mining the moon for resources that could power our planet. I mean, talk about a cosmic twist to resource extraction. Will it happen? We can't say for sure. The Shangyu-6 mission is gearing up to collect more samples from the moon's far side. And trust me, all eyes are on this lunar spectacle. Did you know that experts have NASA on their heels? They've crunched the numbers and figured out that a mere 27.6 short tons of helium-3 could power the entire US for a whole year. That's like a cosmic Costco run, right? And get this, that amount of helium-3 could be easily transported by a space shuttle. Yup, we're talking lunar cargo delivery at its finest. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about this helium-3 stuff? Well, hang tight. The moon, our celestial neighbor, is believed to hold a mother load of helium-3 with a jaw-dropping economic value of $3 billion per short ton. Cha-ching! This discovery has the potential to kickstart a lunar gold rush, attracting nations and companies far and wide. Hold on to your astronaut helmets. This cosmic revelation might just give NASA's Artemis program a boost.